Tesotaxel is not alone in the in the landscape of oral taxanes, right? So I, <clears throat> there's a there are some other agents that are, are either different formulations of Packley, um, more more so than than new novel taxanes. Do you want to comment a little bit about? Yes, you know I was um, uh, interested in this um, DHP 107. It was in JCO in 2017 by Kang and colleagues. It's Paclitaxel, but it's lipid formulated and orally bioavailable. And there's been a phase three in gastric cancer um, in patients who are getting second line therapy uh, versus um, IV Paclitaxel. Yeah. And it was a non-inferiority design, and indeed it met its non-inferiority endpoint. So that's really, really interesting. That there probably should lead to approval for that for that patient population. So um, it's it's paclitaxel. So it's just a, a way to avoid avoid the IV, you know. Um, and and then there there's um, um, or oraxel or, oraxel oraxel yeah. Yeah. oraxel yeah. by um, Athenix Athenix yeah. which is also a um, it's paclitaxel. Right, mixed with a PGP it's inhibitor. It's paclitaxel given with a separate uh, entity, which are oral pills, um, which is a proprietary uh, P glycoprotein inhibitor. So the idea is that um, it inhibits PGP activity in the <clears throat> GI mucosa. It allows paclitaxel to be absorbed more. So this is another agent that um, is, is in development. Will actually, in breast cancer, be going up against IV paclitaxel, mm -hmm. which is... Um, a brave thing yes. to do. Yes. Yep. Yes. Again, with a clear um, idea of trying to displace the IV paclitaxel by giving paclitaxel, but making it orally bioavailable with the PGP yep. um, inhibitor, and then so different than tesotaxel, which has intrinsic um, lack of being a PGP substrate. Yes, exactly, and and this wonderful long half life. Yeah, you know, that's fabulous. in nineteen um, the late nineteen nineties, when I was just a you know a puppy, <clears throat> um, I was. I was doing a study of, a, of an agent called VX710. So Vertex Pharmaceuticals had a PGP inhibitor that was parenteral that we were giving with paclitaxel in patients who had just progressed on paclitaxel. And um, it wasn't a home run. It was hardly a base hit, and it never made it. But there's clearly been interest in, in this as a strategy to um, improve <clears throat> paclitaxel Activity by uh, and now certainly by by in trying to improve its oral bio bioavailability. Um, so it's interesting that we keep we keep chopping away at this. Um, there are other taxanes too. There's an oral version of docetaxel, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, yes, yes, yes. And that one's through the through the phase one. It was a published study in um, 2017. Madra DOC 001. So that's through phase one. And then um, Spectrum. Pharmaceutical also has a um, ortotaxel, ortotaxel, which is also a paclitaxel um, that, that that overcomes PGP uh, as a taxane, oral taxane that overcomes PGP resistance, and that's being looked at in glioblastoma. So there's a number of other um, agents uh, out there, you know, that uh, particularly the um, the DHP 107 has phase three data, you know, already with the um, the gastric, but clearly the Contessa will be will be the the first. Phase three in, in breast cancer. Yeah. To, you know, I've to, just thought of another novel endpoint. <clears throat> Should have put this in the paper. Oh. <laughs> you know, we talked about time to chemotherapy. How about time to needing to drive to Manhattan, park my car, and go into your IV infusion room? <laughs> right. So, so this is time to parenteral chemotherapy that could conceivably be altered. These are ER positive patients who may spend years on endocrine therapy, and um, and then hopefully a, a period of time on oral oral agents before they ever need. Um, to see parenteral chemotherapy, so a paradigm shift. Yes, absolutely. Well, Andy, thank you so much. It's been really fun talking to you. Thanks as always, for, <laughs> as always. <laughs> we have to keep, keep doing this. We've been doing this for a lot of yeah. a lot of years. So thank you very much. A very uh, interesting conversation. And I I hope this has been uh, interesting and useful to you for your practice. And thank you very much for joining us.